Welcome cruise fans. Today we're going to be talking about Norwegian Cruise Line's private island Great Stirrup K. We've got a full tour plus a lot of tips and things that you want to know about visiting. So let's get started. So let's dive right in. The first thing you're going to see when you come to Great Stirrup K, you're going to see one of these tender boats. That's because they take you from the cruise ship into the island. Ride takes about 10 minutes, gives you some great views of the ship, and as you cruise to the island and land and walk aboard, uh, walk onto land, this is what you're gonna see. This is the entrance to Great Stirrup K. They've got music playing, it's festive, it's tropical, they've got the palm trees, but we don't think anything is quite gonna put you in the mood like walking down this pathway, lined with the palm trees. If you're not excited about spending your day on a tropical island after seeing this view, we don't know how to help you. Uh, to us, it was gorgeous. It was like, yes, we are finally here. As well, there's this big rock that says Great Stirrup K that we're about to come to. Great spot to take a little quick uh, two second photo, get your little souvenir of you and your family in front of the rock so you'll always remember your time here. So this is the excursion desk. These are people waiting for their excursions and the excursion desk itself. If you've ordered one, you go, they'll get you there all, uh, all squared away and ready. And on the left here, if you've rented or want to rent a villa, this is where you'll go right there. Uh, Susan's Rock is the snorkel center just beyond that. This is where you get your snorkel gear and you finally get that beautiful view of the electric blue water that you can expect on Great Stirrup K. As you can see, all sorts of lounge chairs laid out for you as well. These are all free to use and you just can't get enough of this view of the water. Here's a nice sweeping panorama of what you can expect on Great Stirrup K. Now, these clamshells you do have to rent, but the loungers are free for you to use while you're on the island. Uh, as well, they also have towels already included, so you don't have to worry about bringing a beach towel with you. They're already there. You can get some great views of the ship from this end of the island right as you, you come aboard on this uh, big main cove. Just walk to the end of the cove. You can get a great view. There's a viewing platform of the ship. And you can also turn 180 degrees and see a big sweeping surround of the island. So this is to give you an idea of how crowded it might get. This was in the afternoon when it was a little bit more crowded. As you can see, some of the chairs have been taken. Still plenty of space for everybody. And again, this is in the afternoon. You can see a few people in the water. Water was a little bit cool, but while the island has plenty of people there and it feels uh, you know, fun and festive, it never felt overcrowded to us, which is always a big plus in our book. There's always space and places to find on your own, especially if you walk down the beach a little bit, you can find this cove is only about, what, uh, a fifth full. So plenty of lounge chairs for you. Uh, and hopefully you can snag one of those umbrellas as well. So as you walk down, you'll find the buffet area here on your left. They serve a daily buffet that's free. It starts at 11.30 and serves for a few hours. You just go in and grab just like you would on the ship's buffet. So here's a, uh, a good idea of what to expect. Now, keep in mind, we'll show you here in a few seconds, the buffet is not the only thing that you have to eat. You have several options on, uh, on Great Stirrup K, and they're free. So here's picnic tables that are covered, a drink station, dessert bar. Uh, these picnic tables, they aren't just for the buffet. You can grab there, you can grab something else to eat and come sit here, or just hang out there to get some shade if you need it. Uh, these guys, oh man, if only smell could come through on YouTube. These grills, they were cooking jerk chicken and it smelled fantastic. They also kind of put on a show with all the smoke. It's a, a lot of fun to watch, get you hungry, get your appetite going on Great Stirrup K. So there are also a couple of food trucks. This one is tropic like it's hot. You just go up, you walk up, let them know what you want. Uh, it's a fun little way to get fed instead of just going to the buffet like you would on the ship, eat from the food truck. There's also a taco food truck elsewhere on the island. Um, the food here was pretty good. It was free and you can't beat that. 
Now, when you're looking at this island, you keep seeing this white structure that looks like a lighthouse. It's not actually a lighthouse. It is actually the focal point for zip lining. Uh, zip lining is a really big thing to do on Great Stirrup Cay. It's one of the most popular attractions. People were flying through there all day. You can see these, uh, these zip lines that just run every direction, back and forth, up and down. And as well, you can see somebody will be flying down the zip line soon. We didn't ride the zip line, it's not really our thing, but we did love watching people go back and forth. It seemed like they were just simply having a blast. So take a few minutes, watch people zip line back and forth and see if it might be for you. So again, the White House zip line tower really dominates the landscape. Uh, it, it's also a great spot to get a picture in front of. Uh, it, it's kind of a unique, neat feature. Uh, as you walk down the beach, you'll see these. These are cabanas, so you can rent these cabanas. There's a little bit. They're a little bit cheaper than the villas that you'll see later. Uh, they have a uh, a little cooler. They've got some chairs, some seating, and uh, you can see there's also some space and privacy between each. Great place to get out of the sun if you have kids. Uh, they have some snacks laid out for you. Uh, there's also a ceiling fan if you need to cool off. What we think is pretty great is the view from these cabanas. So as you turn around 180 degrees, wow, you cannot beat that view. I mean, that seems like it's worth the cost of the cabana on its own. Walk down Great Serp K a little bit longer. Uh, you'll see a bar here. There are several bars dotted along. Great thing is your drink package works at the bars as well. The farther you walk down the beach, like we mentioned, you're going to find uh, that there are fewer crowds. So you can see here a lot of these chairs are wide open, not many people. So if you want to get away from the crowds, just head on down the beach. There are several coves that you can hop into and uh, avoid being around so many people. Now, one of the big things that uh, Great Serp Cave just unveiled is Silver Cove. This is a private villa area that is absolutely gorgeous. They just opened it. And as you can see here, there are a number of villas and they surround this huge lagoon. So this is at low tide. The tide normally comes up a little bit much higher than that actually. But there are little villas that dominate or that dot along each side of the, of the shore. So we're gonna get into these villas in a second. Uh, during our cruise, they told us they start at around 450, kind of depends on your trip and uh, the specifics of your ship. But in Silver Cove area, there's a restaurant there, so you don't have to go all the way back to the rest of the island. Keep in mind, this area is blocked off from everybody else. Only people renting villas can come here. Take a look at these villas. So you've got bathroom, you've got a living room, it's all beautifully appointed, beautifully decorated. You got a little mini bar there, get your drinks. Uh, as well, for the kids, uh, there is a TV, you've got coffee maker, you've got anything that you might need, including a gorgeous view of the water here at Great Stirrup K. So there's also a bedroom. You have a kid that wants to take a nap, or if you want to take a nap and just lounge, you got this bedroom. I don't know if there's a more beautiful view from a bedroom on the planet. You've got a TV. We don't really know who'd want to be watching TV while they're on an island in the beautiful Bahamas, but hey, more power to you if you want to. You also have these outdoor loungers so that you can sit, relax, watch the water. It's just gorgeous, gorgeous in our opinion. So that is it for Great Stirrup K. We hope you've given you an idea of what to expect. For more, be sure to subscribe or you can also visit us at cruisely.com. Great Stirrup K, if you go, you're gonna have a blast. And until next time, happy cruising.